Tonight, City Council will decide whether or not the city will step in to save the historic Shaker Square after the property went into foreclosure at the beginning of the pandemic. Brandon Simmons spoke to council members about the importance of that area in our community. And he joins us now with details about the $12 million loan the city would be putting forward. Brandon, that's a lot of money. Yeah, definitely a lot of money, but people say it's very important on the east side. Shaker Square, obviously a historic area that many people know and recognize. And a lot of people say that uh, supporting that area and its success really is vital for keeping that whole neighborhood alive in that area. Now, for more than a year, the property has been in a court-ordered receivership as the current owners were being sued by lenders, sending the property into foreclosure. Now, deals to buy the property by others have fallen through, and for months there's been a plan to have neighborhood development corporations take over management of the property until a long-term owner can be fine can be found but to do that the city of cleveland would have to act as a bank essentially putting up a 12 million dollar loan that money would be used to pay off the current debt and provide money to make much of the improvements that are needed at the property. But without the city pu putting forward that money, the property really would be in limbo. People don't know what would happen to it. The lenders would have a final say in that. And there are a lot of residents, a lot of council members right now who are saying it's important for the city to take this step so that we have a future that is much more certain than that. Okay, so $12 million would be that money that the city would put forward for this. I'm sure there's been some opposition to that plan, too. What has been keeping this from going forward? Well, there are a couple different arguments. I know, first off, there's one tenant there who owns Edwin's. Uh, he, he said that the city is grossly overpaying. He said that that $12, $12 million amount is just too much. He said they should be paying closer to $6 million. In fact, he actually tried to buy the property, but that didn't work out at that price. The, the lenders just simply weren't having it. Also, another argument. We have an incoming council member who was new to that area. Her name is Deborah Gray, and she said that the project is in her ward, and she feels like paying $12 million just to support the square without having the same focus on the surrounding neighborhood is a mistake. She said this earlier during a meeting. I am moving forward with this deal on the contingency that the entire Ward 4 is developed and the residents, the residents have the right and they own it. And we demand development through the entire Ward 4. Now, you heard her there. She is supporting the deal, but she's very hesitant at the same time, saying she wants to see more money put forward to help the neighborhoods that surround that area. Now, the important thing to note is that this does go to vote tonight by the entire council. That's supposed to happen at 7 o'clock. And again, we also need to point out that point out that these are loans, so the city is supposed to recoup its money, but of course that will take a while and of course depends on the success of this deal if it does indeed pass. That vote comes up at 7 o'clock this evening. Mm. All right. I'm sure, Brandon, you'll continue to follow up. Brandon Simmons live tonight on What's New. Thank you.